This video is about replacing meat and protein. There are still a lot of misconceptions about the plant-based diet and how to get enough protein on a plant-based diet, how to get your um, vitamins and nutrients covered up on a plant-based diet and in this video specifically I would like to focus on protein. So actually protein is a macronutrient that is contained in every food, even fruits. Most of us grew up with the knowledge or understanding that you can only get protein through meat and egg and that's it. Roots contain protein, vegetables contain protein, beans contain protein, grains contain protein as well as nuts and seeds. The question is only how much protein do you want? How much protein you really need is a different question. If you choose to have a lot of protein in your diet, then you can choose to eat a lot of beans or grains such as quinoa which is very high in protein. Kidney beans, for example, contain roughly 24 grams of protein per 100 grams serving. Mung beans as well contain 24 grams of protein per 100 grams. In comparison, chicken, for example, has roughly 27 grams of protein per 100 gram. It is fairly easy to receive your daily protein intake without any animal products. So if you are on this journey of letting animal products go, you will be surprised how much options there are without compromising the protein. You could make a delicious burger out of different variations of beans and you can even make a similar version of a pulled pork burger out of mushrooms. Even if you decide to go plant-based for a couple of days or a couple of meals a week, it will so much enhance your health and your mental and physical clarity. It is obvious that something grown in misery and despair just can't be a source of health and vibrancy. You can't gain something out of a product that was never there. The same goes with highly processed foods. Um, you can not gain vibrancy or vitality out of these foods because there is no life force that could possibly provide you with vibrancy or vitality. In comparison to highly processed foods, if you take fresh fruits or vegetables, they still have life force in them, you know, they still have nutrients in them that are alive. That is what you're going to get when you eat them. I know this is very very basic, but sometimes it does help to get reminded of that once in a while. It is easy to get lost sometimes, you know, in the midst of whatever you're going through right now in your life. Thinking about the simple but very important and essential facts might make you rethink about your daily habits um, and choices. And maybe there is something that you can improve because I believe that every one of us can improve. There's always room for improvement. I am only sharing this to share my knowledge and my experiences that I for myself have applied in my life and that I have come to realize that it improved my life and my health in general and if this information is something that resonates with you it might be of value for your life to improve your life and your health. Habits are something that is very challenging to um, overwrite because we have been living that way for so many years and we have believed this way of life in so many years. But nowadays we have so much information and we have um, the possibility, the, the chance to improve um, which our parents and ancestors 
didn't have. So I think it is really time now to take this opportunity, you know, not letting it go to waste, but really trying to um, make sense of it and trying to work on it to just become a better human being. It is our responsibility to not let this chance go to waste, but to take this chance and make something out of it. And this is not just towards um, what type of diet you are in, but I'm talking about in general. Okay, but this has nothing to do with this topic right now. I'm starting to drift away, but I'm going to save that for another video. But to get back to the topic, you could absolutely receive more protein than you need on a plant-based diet. I have a lot of recipes on my website for free that you can try out and explore and experience. It is all about trying out something new, tapping into unknown territories to find out what you want. Be aware what you are putting in your mouth because that goes right into your body and influences the way you feel, think and behave. It is your responsibility and you hold the key to become and be the person you might never thought you could be.